Good day, everybody. Welcome back to today's afternoon Bible study devotional. Uh, today, we will be reading through Psalm 131. And actually, this is the second one of today because on Tuesday, we like to double dip. Uh, so before we get to Psalm 131, let's take a second to reflect on what we just read in Psalm 130. The big takeaway verse for me is, was verse 7, O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. So when we trust in God, we can get tapped into that that unfailing love. There's nothing that we can do to escape it. Um, and his redemption overflows. It's like, ah, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, and uh, yeah. And now that leads us into Psalm 135. So I invite you to grab your Bibles, read along with me. Um, BibleGateway.com, Bible app, two great resources. I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. And if you don't have a physical Bible and you like one, send me a private message and I'll try my best to hook you up with one. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into Psalm 131. A song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. A psalm of David. Lord, my heart is not proud. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with the matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I have calmed and quieted myself like a weaned calf who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned calf is my soul within me. O oh, Israel, put your hope in the Lord now and always. You got out of lesson to the reading of Psalm 131. Ooh. Um, this is an interesting one. Um, there's okay, here's what I think is happening. Well, once again, it could be completely wrong. This is just my reaction uh to what is um you know written in what we read. It's my reaction. So I think this might sound like a defeat, right? Uh, you know, I don't concern myself with these things. I don't confront, but I just, but it's actually someone in the midst of surrender. Someone that's been trying so desperately to figure out what God is doing. Someone just trying to make everything right on their own. And finally they get to this place where they stop putting their faith in themselves. Start putting their faith in God and surrendered going, I know God is in control. I'm going to stop doing it myself. I'm going to trust God's process. And I'm going to stop trying to fix everything on my own. So many times we try to fix things on our own and we fail and make things worse and we make things worse and we make things worse. When really all God wants us to do is to surrender. It ends with, oh, Israel, put your hope in the Lord now and always. This is the call. Stop putting your hope in yourself and put it in God. Stop putting your hope in other nations. Put it in God. Stop putting hope in your politicians and in other people. Put our hope in God. Let us pray. AJC, awesome Jesus Christ, you alone are worthy. You alone are in control. Our senses of control and our false sense of entitlement and ego May we put it aside. May we not align ourselves with people, parties, nations, or what have you, Lord. Let us be aligned to you. Let us fully put our hope in you, Lord. May we be humble and be able to surrender to you the things that matter most to us. The things that we try to hold on to, may we surrender them to you. Like King David here <laughs> surrendered Israel to you. May we stop trying to fix it ourselves and lean on you in your understanding because you really do know it all and you are that great physician, Lord. Help us to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. Have a fantastic rest of your day uh, and look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we jump into Psalm 132. All right. Bye.